Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Harris and Obama and the Trump campaign and endorsements and how everything is played out. Um, as Harris had the Democratic Party just come in behind her and show lots of support, there was one particular person who didn't offer an endorsement and that was former President Obama. And this created a whole lot of speculation. Now, when we talked about it before, the obvious answer to me was that he was kind of keeping himself in reserve in case there was some kind of issue, there were any shenanigans when it came to the nomination process. And whether or not Harris was really going to get the support she needed to kind of clinch it. And if it created a situation where there were competing people, he would be able to act as the elder statesman, be a disinterested party, and, and kind of be a mediator. He wouldn't be able to do that if he offered an endorsement. That is the, to me, what seemed to be the obvious reason for him holding back his endorsement. Uh, the Trump campaign felt differently. Uh, they went out on the media circuit basically proclaiming through uh, Trump surrogates that Obama wasn't endorsing her because Obama didn't think she could win and that he wasn't going to endorse her because, you know, she's a, a big loser and all of this stuff. And they made a big point about it. And they really leaned into that hard trying to showcase some kind of division within the Democratic Party. Okay, so the Obamas have publicly endorsed Harris now. So, yeah, everything that the Trump world said, that has now proven to be less than accurate. Um, it was them kind of wish-casting and trying to create the image of disunity where it probably didn't exist. Now... With the endorsement, what does that mean? Now that former President Obama has come out and said, yes, we're behind Harris, what's the likely read on it in, in the real world, not Trump world? It, it, it seems to be a clear indication that the support for Harris within the Democratic Party is, it has reached the point where it would be insurmountable for anybody who wanted to launch a challenge. That's what it looks like. Um, now, there's a whole bunch of different ways you could measure it, from the Zoom call to the way her TikTok account expanded as quickly as it did, to donations, um, to a whole bunch of delegates just openly coming out behind her. There's a whole bunch of reasons for it, but at this point, it, it would take something drastic to alter the outcome. And it does appear that Harris is going to be the nominee. Um, you know, you really shouldn't use the term presumptive yet. But, I mean, yeah, that, that's, that's where we're at. Um, if former President Obama felt comfortable enough making this public statement, those people who are trying for a different candidate, they don't have the support they need. Um, Obama has always had a really good read on the Democratic Party. So if he's come out and made that statement, it, it seems very, very clear that Harris is your nominee. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.